fabric of water for wing Our objectives for today are Construct a pie graph based on a given set of data and interpret it. Solve routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Practice accuracy in measuring degrees of a pie graph. Let's have a review on how to draw a fraction in a circle. Get your notebook and pen. Draw the given fraction. Number 1. 1 fourth. If your answer is similar to this, you are correct. Number two, five, six. Matgaling, if your answer is similar to this one. Number three, two fifths. Check your answer if it is similar to this. Very good children! You are ready for our new lesson. First, let's study the concept. A pie graph or circle graph is a good way of showing how a whole or 100% is divided into fractional parts. It presents data in a circular chart which is divided into sections called sectors. Each sector represents a part or a percentage of a whole. To construct a pie graph, we need to follow these steps. Number 1. Arrange the data or information. Number 2. Change its data into percent. Number 3. Compute for the number of degrees for each percent. Remember, a circle has 360 degrees. Number 4. Use compass or protractor to make a circle, then plot the data. Number 5. Label the parts or sectors of the pie graph. Example 1. Maria's homework is to make a pie graph of her daily allowance. She divides her 80 pesos into 4 parts, 30 pesos for food, 20 pesos for transportation, 20 pesos for school materials, and 10 pesos for savings. Arrange the data and make a table. The total amount is 80 pesos. The total percent must be 100 since percent is by 100. Solve for the percent by using division and multiplication. For the food, 30 pesos divided by the total amount of 80 pesos times 100 is 37 and 5 tenths percent. Solving for the percent in transportation, 20 divided by 80 times 100 is equal to 25 percent. School materials is the same as for the transportation. Savings. 10 divided by 80 times 100 is equal to 12 and 5 tenths percent. Then solve for the degrees. The total degrees of a circle is 360 degrees. In solving the degrees, we use multiplication. Food. 37 and 5 tenths percent times 360 degrees is equal to 375 thousands times 360 degrees is equal to 135 degrees. Transportation 25 percent times 360 degrees is equal to 25 hundredths times 360 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. School materials same with transportation. Savings. 12 and 5 tenths percent times 360 degrees is equal to 
125 thousandths times 360 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. Plot the data in the circle. Be accurate in measuring the degrees of the circle. In a circle, draw a line segment from the center of the circle. This is the center of the circle. Then draw a line segment to the circle. From this line segment, plot the protractor to the center. Center of the protractor to the center of the circle. Then find 0, 0 degrees. Then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Then draw another line segment. This is 90 degrees because this line segment is perpendicular to this one. Rotate the protractor. To draw again another line segment which is 90 degrees also another 90 degrees and this sector represents 25% and also this one next rotate the protractor again to measure 45 degrees this angle is 45 degrees and this represents 12 and 5 tenths percent this is the last sector check if your last sector measures 135 degrees so from this point 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 130 135 so it is correct your angle is 135 degrees and this represents 37 and 5% if we add 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 45 degrees plus 135 degrees the total is 360 degrees lastly label the parts or sectors of the pie graph this is transportation This sector belongs to school materials. And this sector is for savings. Lastly, the biggest sector is for food. And this is the pie graph about Maria's daily expenses. Let us start the problem solving about pie graph. Below is a pie graph showing the monthly expenses of Lopez family. Let us study the graph. What is Lopez's greatest expense? Exactly, food. What is Lopez's least expense? Matusai, others. How many percent of the budget is used for school expenses and leisure? Matgaling, 15% plus 15% is equal to 30%. Which two items in Lopez budget composes 50% of the budget? Very good.
food and leisure. Next question. How much did they spend for each item? If they have a budget of 15,000 pesos for a month. In order to solve for the next question, we must multiply 15,000 pesos to every corresponding percent. Food. 35% times 15,000 pesos is equal to 3,500 times 15,000 pesos is equal to 5,250 pesos. School expenses. 15% times 15,000 pesos is equal to 1,500 times 15,000 pesos is equal to 2,250 pesos. Leisure is the same as school expenses. Savings. 25% times 15,000 pesos is equal to 2,500 times 15,000 pesos is equal to 3,750 pesos. Others. 10% times 15,000 pesos is equal to 10 hundreds times 15,000 pesos is equal to 1,500 pesos. Therefore, the family spent 5,250 pesos for food, 2,250 pesos for school expenses, 2,250 pesos for leisure, 3,750 pesos for savings, and 1,500 pesos for other expenses. Total, 15,000 pesos. Remember, pie graph or circle graph makes the presentation of data more easily and understandable. The pie graph shows data in fractional parts. It can represent data when information is presented into parts or by sectors. Do the following activities. Activity 1. Complete the table. The table shows the favorite games of 20 children. Activity 2. Using the table in Activity 1, make a pie graph.
check your work. You are doing good. Let us try the last activity. Activity 3. Use the pie graph to answer the questions. There were 100 people asked for their favorite ice cream flavor. The pie graph below shows the result of the survey. Matpusay mga bata, binabati ko pa yung lahat. Muli, ako po si Teacher Dominica na nagpapaalalang ang mat ay hindi mahirap. Kailangan mo lang magsumikap. Mat-aral ay matsaya. Hanggang sa susunod nating pagkikita, paalam!